In today's video, we're going to cut a Hollywood style trailer from scratch using footage from Artgate, music, sound effects, and some cinematic titles. We're going to make an entry example to our edit challenge, and hopefully you guys can pick up some tips and tricks along the way to make your entry better for a greater chance to win. But if you haven't heard of our edit challenge yet, we're basically giving away 75,000 US dollars in filmmaking gear, which makes this challenge the biggest one to date. So if you want to know all of the details, there's going to be links down in the description below, so don't miss out. And also we're going to have a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. But with all of that out of the way, let's start creating our trailer. So usually when you cut a trailer, then you obviously have the full length of the film to cut the trailer from. But because we're basically inventing a story here, we're going to have to work a little bit uh, differently. So I have kind of a vague idea of where I want to go with my trailer. Um, so what I actually want to do first is try to find some inspiration um, with the music. So I'm going to go into Artlist and I'm going to find some song that kind of evokes the emotion that I want to create. And what I actually want to do is listen to the music that I choose while I'm looking for footage on Artgrid. So that's really going to help me, you know, kind of fill things out and just um, find the right shots that fit the emotion that I want to create. So we're on Artlist and um, I know that I want to go for something that is uh, more dark and cinematic. So straight ahead, I'm going to go into the mood uh, filter category here and I'm going to go for dark. And uh, if we can't find what we're looking for, then I will also go to genre and go for um, cinematic. But for now, let's just keep with the like dark. So I've done this search already and actually found two songs that I think will fit my vision. And the first one is actually just the first one on the list here. Okay, so like after the beginning, I, I don't really like where it's going, but let's listen to the second choice uh, that I got here. I really, really like this music. There's just something like very mysterious and also like very dark about it. Um, I think I think I'm gonna go for that one. So um, let's look into this artist. Let's see if there's like maybe something else I can use. Maybe pair them together. Steadfast, kissed by cold okay, so that one's on the same page as the other song we chose. So I might download that one as well and see if I can um, kind of mix them together. And while I'm listening to that music, I'm going to go into Artgrid and actually search for shots that um, align with the music, align with the emotional feeling I want to evoke. So we're going to listen to that and we're going to pick out some shots. So we're now on Outgrade and I'm gonna put on my headphones so I can listen to the music. But what I want to do is just scroll through the homepage here. You can see this is on staff picks. So this should give us like the best shots um, out here. And since I don't exactly have something specific in mind yet, I only have a rough idea for like what I wanna do. Um, so I'm just going to scroll and again, just look for inspiration, look for things that align with the music. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And what's really great is that, um, for example, I want this shot. Um, I feel like it would work well with the, the other shots that I chose so far and where I want to take this trailer. But I want other shots, uh, maybe similar to this one, that can support my story, maybe a different angle, maybe there's another character. Um, so what's great is that I can go into the story here, I can press view story. And then I have a bunch of other clips that are probably from the same location and are like, they have the same theme and like they're part of story. And I definitely know that I want some lightning, some fire, um, these kind of nature um, elements. So I'm going to go into video themes and I'm going to go for elements of nature and I'm gonna find some stuff here that I'm sure is going to fit um, with my vision. And if I wanted to, I could also search by uh, shot type. I could search for close-ups, for long shots, um, tripod, handheld. Um, there's like a bunch of 
filtering options. So for now, I'm only gonna choose the elements of nature um, in the video themes, and I'm going to try and find shots that will fit my story. So I picked all of the clips that I wanted and I've downloaded them. And the next thing I wanna do is go to the sound effect catalog on Artlist, and I'm going to search for impact. Um, anything I think could fit my trailer, I wanna do it before I start editing, so I can just have everything just drag and drop, try uh, different things. And especially at this stage, I'm going to look mainly for the impacts um, because the song we chose, um, while it is good and it fits my vision, uh, if we just use it like as it is, it's a bit, um, it's a bit boring. It, like for a trailer, it needs uh, more change of pace. It needs more action. So I'm going to use impacts and musical keys to essentially create like almost a new custom track. And I'm, it's gonna have pace, it's gonna be uh, constantly changing, it's gonna be fast and then slow, and we're just going to mix things up and uh, basically keep the interest going. So I'm going to start with this collection. Um, it's a curated sound effects uh, collection for our sound effects team at Artlist, and they've made this collection uh, specifically for our edit challenge, and there are some great sound effects here. Um, probably like, I don't know, like a, a pretty big portion of what you'll be looking for for your tailor is going to be in this collection. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description below um, to that collection so you can just go ahead and speed up your workflow and just find the, the sound effects you need over here. So the first thing back here, definitely I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna download it. So I've downloaded everything that I need from this collection. I'm in Premiere now and I've got my music over here. I've got all of the footage and I've got the sound effects. And uh, I'm going to start laying out the track and building the rhythm um, and the music. And then I'm going to um, put the footage on that and like, build the story um, with the music. And while I'm building the track and the music and all of the impacts, I roughly have the storyline I want in my head. Um, so I'm going to cut it and shape it according to that. So I think I'm going to start with this part over here. Steadfast, kissed by a cold Here I lay down before you. And then I'm probably gonna move on to the uh, to this music. So when making a trailer, you usually want to start strong, start with something that is uh, going to be attention grabbing, um, pull the audience in, and then um, still on that first part, you want to introduce the story, introduce the characters, and basically make a good uh, exposition or like explain uh, what the movie is about. And then on the second act, on the middle part, that's where you want to give out more information and develop a little bit more of the story. And this is maybe where you could introduce the uh, conflict in the story or like the villain if you have one. And then the third act is going to be basically um, like a lot of action and it's going to end strongly, uh, basically leaving you with the feeling of, I want to see more of this. So generally speaking, this is usually the structure that trailers follow. So I've laid down a base structure for me to walk in and I'm going to play it in a second. Uh, I'm not sure about the ending yet, but we'll figure it out later. Uh, for now, I have the uh, beginning and the middle part. Um, so let's give a listen to that. Steadfast, kissed by a cold Okay, so that's what I have so far and the rest I'm going to figure out later. But just laying out this basic structure for myself uh, really helps me um, search for the right shots and it's like a puzzle and now that I have this base structure, um, it's much easier for me to uh, fill in the pieces. So now what I'm going to do is just start placing my shots 
and start building up a story. So this is my first shot here. That's what I want to start with. And already what I'm going to do is um, get into my effect controls and I'm going to do some scale and positioning to just add a little bit of movement to this shot to make it a little bit more interesting. And this is something that you can very easily do to almost any shot if you just want to get some more interest and movement. So this is pretty basic stuff, but it can be very effective. And I'm going to make two keyframes here at the start. You can see it's turning blue. That means we're uh, now being able to animate these parameters, the scale and the position. So that's the first step. And then I'm going to go into the end of the clip, just the last frame. And now I want to scale things up a little bit, maybe get some position in there as well. And now if we go back and play it, you can see we have this movement to the shot, which was static before. And then what I'm also going to do, and you're going to see that a lot in trailers, is I'm going to go down into effects. I have written down dissolve. And now I have the film dissolve here. I'm just going to drag it to the start of the clip and then to the end of the clip. And we're getting that fade in, fade out effect. But now let's keep editing. So I've placed a few shots and I want to show you what I did so far. And then I'm going to show you another very easy but impactful tip. Steadfast, kissed by a cold So you can see the shots are now placed with the hits and the sound effects, um, but it, it's just hard cuts. There's nothing really there. Um, we're missing that flair, basically. So one very easy thing we could do is when we transition from this shot to that shot where we have the hit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the last frame here from this shot. I'm going to make a cut. And then I'm simply going to go into my effects. I can write down invert and then I can use it just on this one frame. So we get this effect and then we have this. So add a few more of these, add a few fade in and fades out and this whole sequence is going to be much better. So let's do it now. So as you can see, I've added a few other inverts and the film dissolve. And now when we watch it back, you'll see it's looking much better. And it only took me like two or three minutes. Much better. And what I'm trying to do here is basically work in mini sequences and tell like mini stories within the entire cut, even if there's like no real logic behind it. And sometimes they would even do it in like real film trailers. Um, they would make a sequence that looks like it's connected, uh, but it's actually from different points across the film. So it just needs to feel like it's connected. So we're basically building out these mini um, sequences. So I finished placing in all of these shots um, for this cut, for this trailer, put in these titles as like placeholders for now, and we're going to make titles later on. Then I also added a few other sound effects, but I pretty much kept the same structure as we had in the beginning. Um, so let's watch what we have so far. Steadfast, kissed by
So that's what we have so far and now all that's left to do is um, put in the titles, uh, make them beautiful, make them nice and tie this whole thing together. And I'm in motion array and I'm gonna search for a nice um, template to make me beautiful cinematic titles. So for me, I know a little bit of After Effects and I know that mostly like the most beautiful um, templates are usually in After Effects because they're a little bit more complicated. Um, so I'm going to go straight ahead into After Effects templates. And in here, I'm just gonna try my luck with Hall. And let's see if we can find something nice. So that's looking pretty nice. Might go for that one. That one looks really nice. I might use that, maybe change the uh, uh, color there to like red or something. But that looks pretty good. That one's also pretty nice. I'm gonna save that. And that one is also nice. So um, that's another option. So let's download these and then we'll see which one I wanna use. So I think I'm gonna go for this template. And as you can see, we have um, all of the layers here that go into making this so I can easily customize things and I'm obviously going to change the text and I think I'm also going to change up the colors a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you guys when I finish and then we'll watch the final thing with the titles and everything. So we're almost done. The last thing I wanna do is add some black bars um, to make it that cinematic wide aspect ratio and you could just open like that wide aspect ratio sequence from the beginning and then not have the black bars um, but we didn't do it so that way it's going to be also fine so let me show you how to do it so I'm going to open a new adjustment layer and I'm going to put that on top of all of my clips so it's the top layer here it's above all of my clips and the way I like to do it is go into the crop effect apply it to the adjustment layer and then I'm going to do um, like 13% on top and 13 on bottom. And then we have that cool, nice cinematic cinemascope black bars. And then another thing I wanna do is just add a little bit of color grading. And if I wanted to, I could have um, downloaded the log files from Outgrade for all of this footage and then I would have had a clean um, slate basically and I could color grade each shot exactly as I wanted um, but I downloaded the Rec. 709 um, footage so what I'm going to do is create a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna go down to color over here and because all of the footage is already um, graded basically what I'm going to try and do is maybe um, like generally get the contrast down and get some of this saturation down and then on the same adjustment layer I'm going to um, create a new lumetri effect and I'm going to go into the creative tab here and I'm going to choose one of the LUTs um, that we have here available and that one is pretty similar to the direction I wanted to take um, let's see how it looks uh, on different footage and it's in the right direction. Um, it's just a bit extreme, so I'm going to make a few adjustments. And if I really wanted to, I could adjust things shot by shot. And the last thing to top everything off, I'm going to search for grain. And I'm going to download this film grain and use it on top of my footage. And I'm just going to drag this onto here. And I'm going to go to my effect controls. And what we need to do is change the blending mode to overlay and that's where the magic happens. You can see all of that um, beautiful grain over here. Let me zoom in for a second. We can clearly see all of this. Um, I've gone pretty extreme with the grain. You can make it more subtle if you want by reducing the opacity. And now we have a little problem. If, if we go a little bit forward, um, we have a fade out with the video and you can see what's happening. Um, basically, when it's black, we're seeing all of the grain. Um, so what we need to do is simply create a black video track underneath all of our video clips. So that's what I've already done here. So you can see when I um, enable this black um, clip, the problem is basically gone. So now we have beautiful textured grain. And I think we are pretty much done. Steadfast,
So that was my take on how to edit a movie trailer. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and insightful and I'm really looking forward to seeing all of your amazing submissions for the challenge. A quick reminder again that all of the details you need for the challenge are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and consider subscribing for more of these videos. And for this video's giveaway one of you guys could win a free one year artist music and sound effects subscription. All you have to do is let us know down in the comments below which movie trailer is your favorite one ever. Here is the winner from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you and until the next time, stay creative.